At least 39 people were killed in a fire at a migration center along the U.S.-Mexico border. Several other people were injured. The facility was run by the National Migration Institute in Ciudad Juarez, across from El Paso. The cause of the fire is unknown. Authorities are looking over a manifesto and writings left behind from the suspect in the deadly school shooting in Nashville. They strongly believe the suspect, 20-year-old Audrey Hale, was a former student at the private Christian school. A motive remains under investigation. A lawsuit could have major implications on the cost of prescription drugs. Ohio's Attorney General is putting Cigna, Humana, and Prime Therapeutics on notice, alleging a conspiracy to keep drug prices unreasonably high. The pharmacy benefit managers targeted did not immediately respond, but have previously claimed their negotiations saved consumers money. Parts of California are getting clobbered with another major winter storm system. A wind advisory is in effect for more than 15 million people in California and Oregon. And the National Weather Service has warned residents about the potential threat of down trees and power outages. Last year, all of California was in a drought, but this unusually active winter has resulted in nearly full reservoirs. After a historic tornado outbreak that devastated entire communities in Mississippi, the same region is now bracing for more storms later this week. At least 27 tornadoes tore through five states, but Mississippi bore the brunt of it, one twister leaving a trail of destruction 59 miles long. The Biden administration is threatening a veto for Republican-led legislation aimed at energy costs. The House is expected to take up the bill this week. The Lower Energy Costs Act would reform the energy permitting process and boost domestic energy production. But the White House argues it will raise costs for consumers while padding oil and gas company profits. The First Citizens of Silicon Valley Bank deal is helping to ease fears about the banking sector on Wall Street. The Dow finished Monday trading up 0.6%. The S&P finished 0.2% higher. But the Nasdaq hit the closing bell down one half of 1%. Some of the steel critical to keeping electric cars running is in short supply. Several U.S. steelmakers are ramping up production of the paper-thin steel needed for EV electrical systems, but demand is expected to continue to outpace supply. Credible Cruise has reported bookings for future cruises during the first quarter of 2023 reached its highest volumes for any quarter in its history. This comes despite higher ticket prices this year, and Carnival says it expects the growth to continue. And that's today's 9 at 9. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.